The Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft were launched by NASA in 1977 on a mission to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. While the probes exceeded all expectations, completing a highly successful journey, they encountered several challenges and obstacles along the way that made their mission more difficult. The first hurdle happened before even launching. Voyager 1 was nearly jeopardized by a leaky rocket. The probe was scheduled to launch on a Titan 3E Centaur rocket. On the day of the launch, a fuel leak was detected in one of the Centaur's engines, putting the mission in jeopardy. However, the leak was quickly repaired, and the launch proceeded as planned. Once the probes were in space, one of the main problems they faced was the intense radiation environment in the outer solar system that could cause damage to the spacecraft's electronics. While NASA equipped them with radiation-hardened components, the constant exposure to high-energy particles still took a toll on the probes over time. Some of their instruments were temporarily shut down, and some of their memory systems were degraded. Additionally, some of their electrical components were damaged, which required repairs and modifications to the spacecraft through in-flight software updates. Another issue was the extreme temperatures Voyagers encountered while traveling through space. The Voyager probes encounter temperatures ranging from the extreme cold below freezing to scorching heat above it, requiring their electronic systems to endure a harsh thermal environment. To handle these temperatures, the Voyager spacecraft were equipped with several thermal control systems. But despite this, the rough temperatures caused some of the internal components to expand and contract, which put stress on the structures and connections of the probes. The extreme temperatures also degraded some of the electrical components, such as the wiring and insulation. This was a significant challenge, as the probes were far from Earth and communication was limited, making it difficult to diagnose and fix problems. To overcome these challenges, the Voyager spacecraft were equipped with onboard diagnostic software that could detect problems and perform software updates to fix them. The mission team on Earth was able to send commands to the probes to update their software and repair or bypass damaged components. Another challenge the Voyagers faced was the limited power supply. The probes were powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators RTGs, which generate electricity from the heat produced by the decay of plutonium-238. However, the RTGs had a limited lifespan, and as they aged, they produced less and less power. To handle the limited power supply, the probes were designed to be highly efficient and to use their power carefully in order to ensure their survival. For example, the probes used low-power microprocessors and other digital electronics, which consumed less power than traditional analog electronics. They also used passive cooling systems such as heat exchangers to dissipate heat and reduce the need for active cooling systems that consumed more power. In addition to these energy-saving measures, the Voyager spacecraft were programmed to turn off certain instruments or reduce the frequency of their measurements when they were not needed in order to conserve power. This allowed the probes to continue their mission and collect data over a longer period of time, despite their limited power supply. In addition to these technical challenges, the Voyager probes also faced communication difficulties. They had to communicate with Earth from great distances, which was a challenge due to the weak signals they sent and received. Despite these difficulties, the Voyager probes were able to complete their mission and provide us with valuable data about the outer reaches of our solar system. They continue to send data back to Earth today, even as they travel further into interstellar space. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.